Hi guys, it's me, Matthew, and we're playing The Walking Dead. I know you've been waiting for this game. I finally worked out how to get it. I'm using fraps. I would advise you to use fraps if you want to record. So, I'm playing The Walking Dead because I know you've been waiting for a long time. I am going to eventually work out how to record my face with fraps because apparently you can do that. So, for now, I'm just going to um, play normal just without my face. I'll eventually do it with my face. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. I'm not going to talk when, um... Why do you say that? When they you know, say I've stuff. I've a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Sometimes. Lord knows how many. Usually about now, I guess <laughs> I didn't do it. Now that I did it. But I did it. And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you did it. But how do you know that? How do you know? So really there's nothing really to do until you get to the end of this part. I followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. What do you think? I'm just glad I chose law and not order. Big messy trial like that, even if you was innocent. A lot of what happened can't ever be undone. Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I have I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? Aww. His name's Lee, by the way. You want to know how I see it? Not really. Well, too bad. It's my car. You might have the right to remain silent, but it don't mean I gotta be. Yeah. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. <sighs> Why do you say that? I just wanted him to say that. I have, um... I have, like, I have, You'll um, have to learn to stop worrying about things you can't control. I have played this a bit on my own, because I've decided to. So, I know basically I'm kind of a little what happens. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't he do. Says. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back. <laughs> Said it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop. That's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama! mama it was it's all a big mistake. mistake. It, it wasn't, wasn't me. me. So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys <laughs> came through the door. Look at that. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. Um, this one's a little there's bit a person in the room. There's a person in the room. If I do say so. Oh, shit! This other time... Look at that! I don't think you could actually survive that. There's no chance you could survive that. I think you have to say something else to survive. Oh, wait. How do you survive that? Seriously. <gasps> There's zombies. Why are there zombies? Oh yeah, because it's called The Walking Dead. Oh. So... I'm guessing that guy's getting killed. He just zapped a zombie, I think. I'm guessing he just zapped a zombie. I just shot a zombie. Oh, shit. 
Did you break your leg, Lee? Thirsty. He's ah! Fuck! My leg! Oh no. <gasps> Let's smash out the car. Show your might, Lee! Okay, we have to... I need to drag myself out that window. Okay. Oh, this is gonna hurt. What? <laughs> That's one a hell of a drop. It's not very safe, is it? Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, last time um, when I played this, I got told by somebody um, that I had to, well, I didn't record it. But sometimes I got told by my friend Jack that I had to pick up this shotgun shell that's over here. Or I'll just die every time. I eventually got it. And every time when he does it, he like snaps his leg. So a, he has a shotgun shell now. Officer? God damn. If you just keep on clicking on him, he just keeps on going officer, officer? and then, yeah, it's quite retarded. Let's have the keys. Are you a clumsy person? By the way, Lee is a very clumsy person in the beginning. This little end. Officer. Ah, 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 ah. Get away, 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 get the shotgun! Get the shotgun! Clicky, 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 loaded, loaded! You dumb person! Clicky! I don't care what he is, shoot him in the face! I'm going to shoot him. <sighs> Flip heck. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Help! Go get someone! There's been a shooting! Also, I'm going to be um making this video longer because it's an apology for um not doing vid videos for a while because I've been ill and just been really stressed. See what I mean by he's clumsy? First he drops the keys, then he um... Then he drops the bullet, then he falls over the man and then he does that, then he falls over a rock while there's zombies coming at him he falls over again and I, after this he's not really clumsy anymore <clears throat> why would you want to run away from them because they're so pretty I thought zombies were weak not strong They're attracted by noise, so if, if in this game you make loads of noise, then zombies would come out to see what's going on. Because they have dumb heads. Because they are dumb. They're dumb dilly dum dums. Hello? Hello? Anybody? Okay. Yes, you do, Lately.
coming in. Don't shoot, okay? An intruder. Or one of them. I like the way how they put it in caps lock, but he's not actually like caps locking it, more, more, like shouting. Do. Yeah, they definitely need more help than you do. Okay, you see blood, okay? Jesus. He slips over it when he's just looked at it. That's what I really hate. He looks right at it. And then he slips over it. I'm just get him a cup of water first. Brinkly. <sighs> Walkie talkie. I would try to contact somebody if I had a walkie talkie. Okay, Lee. Do not fall over again. Maybe there's something on there. What's that beep? Three new messages. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message two, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message three, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. I find that really sad. I actually find that really sad. Oh. Huh? Hello? You need to be quiet. Okay, I'll be quiet. Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me, but I'm hiding until my parents come home. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Where are you? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's that is smart. smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. <gasps> oh my gosh, she's so pretty though. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. E. Why ya? Don't trip, don't trip, you nigga boo. Don't knock yourself out. Bad time. Are you so see how clumsy he is? Oh my gosh. Get the flipping hammer and I went to watch out his her face. That is disgusting. But I think I got it. Man. Hi there. Did you kill it? 
I think something else did. Before me, I think. I heard her scream two nights ago. Maybe one of the monsters got her. Two nights ago? Yeah, that's probably what happened. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. Okay. So we have to find help before it gets dark. Stay close to me, Clemmy! That is not stay close to me, Clemmy! You could get eaten by one of those weird zombie thingies. Stay close. Like a pet would. But you're not a pet, so... I'm going to eat their face. Oh man, I ain't mama. never getting home to mama at this mama. rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. Okay, I'm guessing that we have to go through here. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come oh. home? I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere. You really safe. can't let's hate close. that okay. and hate Clemmy yeah, because idea. her face is just too adorable. So smushy. You really can't hate Clementine. Hey man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! It does that look like you that I'm a zombie. Yeah. I thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna Yeah, I'm gonna give you the charm. Do you know what the hell this is? No idea. So you've seen them then? You could say that. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Just some guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. So, he puts shouting marks when they're whispering. It makes no sense. Show your strength, Clemmy! Throw it, sh throw it, show it! Show your strength! For just some guy? Seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. Yeah, I did. Some awesome. I am too awesome for random people. I must know them at all times. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Chet is a very strange character. Because I don't think you meet him again. 
Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Well, Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you, then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. I'm going to be try. I'm going to try yeah. to be as honest as possible in this game. Might help you out. So I heard it can make good, like you take a seat up on the porch things and go see what I have. to help. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Herschel, that's my name. How'd this happen? Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? Home. Where's home? I grew up in Macon. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? Nobody. Is that so? Yeah. I'm gonna it be is. not honest about that. You said that. we. That's all. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad, so I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious... <laughs> <laughs> Look at Gabby's face when he says that. Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I watched a man let himself get run over without blinking an eye. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I'll yeah, he did, said, okay. city person. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot <gasps> you. his face. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, Let's then. go sleep in the barn! It smells like... Manure. Manure? Like... Wait, <laughs> Plops? Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> I my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh. I'd really just love to okay. get Savannah and find her parents. See how happy she would be. It's the kind of thing that you just want to do. Ain't it? Ain't it? Ain't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm guessing that's her wife when she got like killed. I think. I think. Hey, get this up. is the character I think is called K. 
Kenny. Ugh, itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <laughs> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. Yep, I'm Kenny. Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. <laughs> There's a truck on <laughs> That's the classic, like, um, We better get going. Little we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! <laughs> See? The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the you tractor? better not pooing up, cool. little boy. Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Okay, I'm not going to disturb those two because apparently if you do then it's just going to waste your whole lot of time. So, so let's talk to Kenny. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have yeah. liked one then. <laughs> you know. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. <laughs> Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See Ain't nothing gonna phase us! Ain't nothing gonna phase us! Ain't nothing gonna phase us! Another moment. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm I might as well talk to Duck. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift <laughs> your back, Sean. Lift up your back. Okay, you don't need to say it out loud. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut Ooh, those two bikes away, it sure are. speed things up. My dad no, he doesn't. doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn. Oh shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. No, it's, it's definitely not, not. like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Yeah. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... <laughs> I, I grew up to it. Whoa. I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How come there's doors? How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. 
Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably no all problem. I need to Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad okay. around, you might want some help in the barn. Let's go to the barn! Let's go to the barn. Let's go, 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 go. Look at me dance! Look at me dance! So we gotta go the long way around when we could just come around there. Oh yeah! Going into there. Going into there. Going into there. Look at me go! Oh, oh, look at me go! Oh! You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today. I was being honest! That's what I was trying to do! I'm not sure I'd follow. I ain't dumb. I caught you in that lie last night about who you were with in that car. And honestly, I don't even want to know. How'd you get out of that land? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until the boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. This farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan Not a very good having plot a place land, like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? In Macon. Wife, girlfriend? My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah, I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. No. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense yeah, to listen to a man give Oh no, advice. what is going on? What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? Yeah, you better get your gun! Your gun! Quick, go, 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 go! Run, 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 run like the wind, please! Oh no! He has a one ton tractor on him! Duck your nickel! Oh no, this is just even worse. I'm don't tell me how to choose. I'm gonna help Duck. I'm going to have to help Duck. Let go! I won't! I don't care about you! Don't they? They really just like eat them so quickly. Just like, where's his head? Don't know where his head is. Okay, I I wanted to choose Duck because the other guy only had like a he had like um he had no chance because I didn't know how to work the tractor and um he had a one ton tractor on him so i don't think he had a chance sorry sorry your son is alive you don't get to be sorry and you you didn't even try to help i panicked look at him remember that next time you panic please just go get out and never come back. You 
I've got that ride to making if you want it. Yeah, we're gonna go. It's better safe than sorry, I'd say. So anyway, um, I'm probably going to end it here. Wait, I need to wait for um. Sorry, it's not going to end here. I have to wait for a um, sa saving point. What? I said resume game. I didn't say go to the end. What diet? Sorry about that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the part that I got to. So yeah, I'll have to get back to that part. So yeah, I'm sorry about that. But um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the game and stuff. And I will see you later. Goodbye, everybody.